Welcome everyone to this Olive tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to color grade footage in Olive. Now Olive still being in its alpha stages, it still has some, still needs some tweaks, it still needs some color grading tools, but you can get some pretty good effects with what they already have right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on my footage to open it up in a media viewer. And I'll just put it in and come here, uh, maybe a little further, out in and out point and just drag that down onto my timeline. So I can go ahead and scroll through and uh, I took this with a drone and it was in a flat color profile because I wanted to be able to add some effects. I have to click on the clip and if I come up to my effects panel here you can see that uh, I have some, the video effects and I can come here to the plus icon right here and come into the color tab and I have some different options. I can add noise, I can invert. If I go ahead and invert, you can see that all the colors get inverted. If I want to delete an effect, I can just right click on it and come down to delete. And then I could come here to color correction and hue, saturation, and brightness. So I'm going to go with color correction. So if I scroll down, or I can just close off the transform there. Uh, the first thing we have is temperature, tint. Temperature, of course, makes the footage more blue or yellow. If I feel like I've ever made an adjustment and I want to go back to the original number, I can right click and just click reset to default. Then tint, of course, is your magenta and green. So green and magenta. Then we have exposure. We have contrast, uh, highlights, shadows, whiteness and uh, darkness, and then saturation. So let me reset all those real quick. Currently, Olive doesn't have a tool to pick out a certain color and really accentuate it. We can get some pretty great results. I know that my tint controls my green and my magenta, and I, have, and I know that I have these green trees here in this clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the green just, just a hair, not too much. I don't want the streets to become green. Um, so it's kind of a balancing act. And then temperature, I can go ahead and bring the number down, which is going to bring more yellow into the scene. And of course, yellow and green are very close in color. And then I can bring up the saturation. Now, if I bring up the saturation too much, you can see we get some really crazy effects. But that I can actually help us to see, we brought the tint a little too high. So... Let me bring that back, something like that. Then I can bring the saturation down a little bit um, to maybe 200. This shot was made in a flat color profile, so I'm going to increase the contrast to really give it that depth. And I'm going to decrease the brightness a little bit because things like this statue right here look a little overexposed. Okay, so now that we've done that, I can always turn that off and turn it on to see the difference. You can really see the difference in that a little color correction makes. And of course, if I want to, I can come down here to stylize and add a vignette and increase the size and the softness. Um, and the other thing that I could do would be to come here to color and add in the hue, saturation, and brightness. Again, if I increase the saturation to something like a, a thousand to see what's going on, and then I can actually change the hue just a little. If I change it too much, you can see your colors really get changed. But I can kind of do a little bit of color shifting. So if I turn that off, on, off, on. So you can see that my little shift there has brought some blue into these shadows. And to be honest, it's probably a little too much. I can make a final saturation adjustment there. So anyway, this has been a little bit of how to color correct footage in Olive. I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial to you. If it has, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I will see you next time.